Hey everyone, it's Scott from CertMedia.com and today I'm going to be discussing a common issue that I run into with a lot of sites who get a lot of bad advice. It is redirecting all your 404s to your homepage. This, whoever has told you, or maybe you thought it was a good idea yourself, to do this, you were wrong. And we're going to discuss why. So a common thing in WordPress is there's a very popular plugin called All 404 Redirect to Home Page, and there's all kinds of plugins like this. 404 to Home, any kind of redirection plugin tends to recommend it, and it's a really bad idea. So let's first discuss one of the common misconceptions. The first thing is that people think that a 404 page is inherently bad, and it's not. Now, I will admit it's important to monitor 404s when you're trying to make your website rank well in Google, but it's equally important to make sure that you're not redirecting pages, redirecting users to pages that are not useful. So if somebody visits your website, for instance, and let's say that they get a 404 error because you deleted a blog post. Let's say you deleted the post and that there's nothing at all similar to it. There's no pages that are relevant to it. There's no categories then there's no real need to 404 redirect it. There's no, a 301 redirect it. It's better for it to hit as a 404 because the user now knows that that page doesn't exist. And instead of being sent to somewhere that they don't understand, they'll, un, they'll instead understand, okay, it doesn't exist anywhere. I'll go down to the next list. And it's a bit of an anti-pattern to do this. Because if you get a 404 error for an existing piece of content and you want to know, and let's say you have a piece of content, this happens all the time on complicated WordPress websites, they'll install some plugin and now everything 404s. And normally it's as simple as going to settings, permalinks, and hitting the save button. The redirect rules got, the rewrite rules got knocked out of the HT access file. So when you redirect when you're being redirected everything to the home page you may not understand why they're getting redirected and you may not notice an error until it's too late and this happens a lot where content that should exist is being sent to the home page and the user doesn't happen i'll admit this happened well not exactly but it would have happened on one of my own websites had i not paid attention i have a gaming website where i have hubs for each of the games that i review and the blog posts and videos that I write make for them are also in that hub. And for some reason, the hubs were all 404ing. All 100 plus games that I have on there were 404ing. Now, if I'd been using a 301 to home page or a 404 to home page plugin like this, I would have never known of the issue and I would have assumed everything was honky dory. But I was alerted to the issue in Google Search Console, which is important because then it allowed me to fix the error and to help restore any lost traffic. But when all 404s are being treated to the home page, Googlebot may do one of two things. It'll either try to treat it as a soft 404, where the page it's being sent to is not really the real page, or it just thinks there's an anomaly, or it'll just treat it like it's fine, and there's not any issues at all. And there's not really in any inherent benefit to doing this. There's a misconception that by sending all 404s to the homepage, you're recapturing any lost link juice, but you're really not. And when you tend to redirect, when you tend to do a redirect instead of 404 or a 410 error for deleted content, what ends up happening is Google may keep that content around index a little longer than it should. So users will continue to be sent to a page that no longer exists, but then after that page is gone, it's dropped from search and anybody who is organically searching for the page isn't going to land on it anymore and they're not going to be clicking on it. The only times that anyone will be getting redirected from that old URL is if they had an old link to it. And if somebody's clicking on it from say a forum or a comment section of another website and it doesn't exist anymore, they want to know that it doesn't exist. They don't want to just be sent to an irrelevant page. So some common tips and tricks that I have when you're be the deleting content or restructuring content is to do some of the following. If you delete a blog post, try if there's a similar post to it, I recommend that you try to you redirect to that. So if you had a thing, if you had a post about your top five favorite dog breeds, but you had another post that was top 10, you could redirect the top five to the top 10. 
they're going to get the same general content. They're actually going to get more, in theory. And it's going to be along the same lines. And then that would be useful for the user because they're being sent to a page that says, okay, this is basically what I was looking for. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's just as good, if not better. Now, let's say you deleted a tag. Let's say you had a tag for WordPress, but let's say you had a category for WordPress tutorials. Redirecting the tag to that category would be an acceptable fix. Let's say you delete a post altogether and there's absolutely nothing that it relates to. You can do one of two things. You can try to link it to a cat, redirect it to a category that was relevant. So if it was about dog breeds and you have a category for dog breeds, just a parent category, you could redirect it to there and they'll be shown a useful collection of posts. That would be an okay user experience because they're still seeing, okay, this content doesn't exist, but there's all this other content for the dog breeds that I was trying to look for. But what you don't want to do is if you have something, let's say you have a gaming website and you had a post from five years ago about your favorite, about your cat and you deleted the post about your cat because while well, it's not relevant, nobody was really reading it, don't redirect that to some post that isn't relevant. You want to keep it as the 404 so that way Google drops it out of index quicker and more naturally. But if you leave it as a 301, somebody's going to click on a post from six years ago about your cat. Maybe it was five years. I can't remember what I just said. And they're going to be sent to a page about the latest Fallout 76 blunder. And then they're going to be really confused and not understand what's going on. Or what's worse is they're going to be sent to your homepage and they're going to wonder where the content was that they tried searching for. So treat 404s as Yes, monitor them and make sure you fix them when you can. But if you actually remove something that shouldn't have been there in the first place, leave it as a 404 or mark it as a 410 so that way it gets dropped from search as quickly as possible. If you have any questions or you have a specific use case that you're not sure of what to do, feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll try to give you my thoughts and opinions. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.